Hi everyone, my name is Nafisa Mustafa and I'm a computer engineering undergraduate student at the University of Central Florida. And I'll be presenting our poster, Tactile Telepresence for Isolated Patients. So essentially, human touch is a powerful element of patient care and is recognized as an important intervention for patients and it's also important for their visitors. However, in some cases, people might not be able to visit their family members in the hospital, like we're seeing in this current pandemic. To address this, we present preliminary work aimed at providing an isolated patient and remote visitors with visual interactions that are augmented by touch. We developed the tactile telepresence system prototype, which involves the visitor being able to send touch patterns through a network interface to the patient side. And the patient is then able to feel the perception of touch through a tactile headband that we developed. So for the visitor side interface, we developed an Android application that is responsible for detecting, recognizing, and forwarding single and multi-touch patterns co coordinates drawn by the visitor onto this uh, tablet interface in this yellow rectangle, as you see here. These touch patterns are transmitted through a UDP protocol in order to prioritize real-time transmission. The patient side interface allows the patient to feel the perception of touch through vibro tactile actuators on the tactile headband. This headband was developed with the intention of being portable and is powered through a Raspberry Pi 4. The Pi first receives the coordinates of the visitor's touch gestures and then renders the pattern to the corresponding actuators onto, on the headband by using the syncopated energy algorithm. We initially carried out a pilot study to test the ability of a single subject to perceive various touch patterns. This overall process comprised of two steps. First, we drew different patterns on the visitor side's tablet and the subject wearing the headband um, would receive these touch gestures and they would close their eyes and hand draw the gesture that they felt on their forehead. Uh, as you can see here, the subject was, a, was appeared to correctly recognize the different touch patterns. In conclusion, we designed and implemented a prototype tactile telepresence system. Uh, uh, while our evaluation was only formative in nature, it appears to support the validity of both our approach and our prototype. Uh, future improvements would include uh, better modulating the motor's intensities, visually drawing the gestures, having a remote UDP connection, and introducing synchronous full duplex video for both the patient and the visitor. Thank you for listening to this presentation. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me.